everything. Today is Saturday, August 12th, and today is nine years since I arrived to Vegas. And as I said to you guys and to my doctor, it feels a lot longer than nine years, considering everything that happened since we moved here. But today is the day that me and my dad and my aunt arrived to town. And my aunt went with us to help with the driving because I don't drive. And she actually did most of the driving. Um, my dad started out driving um, for a bit. But he brought his eye drops with them. I think they were for glaucoma or something like that. But he never took them. <laughs> So, he was driving, and I don't know what happened. It wasn't good. Luckily, we survived. <laughs> but my aunt made him like, okay, next rest stop, I'm driving. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so she did most of the driving. And I was thinking of going to Main Street Station downtown, because that's where we stayed um, when we got here. My parents love, loved that hotel and casino. They stayed there Multiple, multiple times when they came to town um, before they stayed a month in, at a, they stayed like in apartments. So, um, and that, so we stayed there for a couple of days when we came to town and then we moved to, to an apartment for, till we found this house. So yeah, I was going to go there, but excited against it because the one restaurant I was thinking of going to, which is at the California, and it's kind of connected to the Main Street Station because they have like a little walkway uh, connecting the two. And but the restaurant I was going to, we're, we're doing are are doing ren renovations. Say that right, <laughs> and they have a limited menu, so I wasn't sure. What I wanted was going to be on the menu. And I didn't really want to spend the money to go down there. Even though I haven't been in downtown in forever. But, yeah. So I stayed home all day. And being completely bored, I worked on the diamond painting a little bit. And I had no clue what I was going to do for dinner. Because I didn't take anything out. I mean, the stuff that I can't, that's already made, I really didn't want to make it. <laughs> and everything else was frozen and stuff. I'm like, ugh. But I had some, left, I made chicken a long time ago. And I had two pieces that I froze. And this was one of them. And I also had like a little chunk of chicken. So I took those out of the freezer and air fried them to warm them up and had made one with a sandwich and obviously I'll have the other one tomorrow for lunch or something but I also took out the hamburger chicken burger from Costco and then I took out the thing for soup of cabbage soup to have later on I just don't feel like cooking I'm so over it <laughs> but as I said before, you know, order <coughs> eating out. I know I can. There's stuff I can have, but it comes with stuff I shouldn't have, and I end up eating the stuff that I shouldn't have. It's like I'm always tempted to have the stuff that I shouldn't have, so I don't bother. <laughs> but it's getting to be a drag. So, um. I've been home all week, as I said before. <clears throat> and then yesterday, it was fun times. They were still working. And I think they'll probably be back Monday. But, um, all of a sudden, like in the afternoon, I saw water <laughs> by my house. And I'm like, because it trickles down into, in between the houses. And I'm like, where's that coming from? And I thought it was from them. And But then I saw, when I went out the front door, I saw it was coming from over there where they were working. And 
And I saw a couple of my neighbors. Well, I saw the one neighbor, and I saw two other ones. They're from an HOA, and um, they were talking to one of the workers. And then later on, one member of the HOA, in my neighbor, he was talking to me, and he's like, they, you know, he had to shut off the water. He wasn't sure if he did it or not, but eventually it went off. And uh, the plumber was coming, and he said that the gut, the workers were like, we found this leak. It happened. It looked like it was there for a while. And we had problems before with the water because our water bill is somehow sky high and we don't understand how. <laughs> and, um, but he's like, he was telling me, he goes to the guy like, how do I know that you're just saying that and that you didn't, that you didn't do that. And then you're just covering yourself by saying it was there all along. He's like, I'm not calling you a liar, but you're, you know, you're saying what you're saying. So, um, Later on, the plumber came, and they were working on it for a while, and I went out to get the mail at one point, and I didn't get anything yesterday. <laughs> um, but I was coming back to the house, and I heard the plumber telling my neighbor that, oh yeah, they did this, because there's no way that, you know, it could have been a leak. They did this, because where they were digging, or whatever was right by the pipe was right by where they were digging or something like that so yeah should be interesting come Monday <laughs> um, what happens but it was eventually fixed and uh, yesterday the, the place that was fixing the electricity or whatever doing the electrical work they had a tank of water and they were spraying the parking lot, trying to get all the, clean up all the dirt and stuff. It didn't really help, especially with the um, leak, because they had to turn the water back on to see where the leak was and stuff like that. And it created more dirt, so yeah. Fun, fun, fun. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna go out tomorrow. I'm kind of thinking about it because I've been cooped up here <laughs> for a while. Um, I was almost going to go out today, like I said. Either, like I said, one was going to be Main Street Station, and I just thought of that on a whim, but I was kind of thinking about going downtown Summerlin for the farmer's market, but I'm like, no, it's too hot, and no, I don't feel like paying overpriced produce. <laughs> And I was going to call the therapy place to see where I'm at on the wait list for therapy. I was going to do that Friday, but I never did. So hopefully Monday I'll remember to do that. And what else? Nothing much. I'm just... Just the same things as other days bored and lonely and but today I got the mail I got my discover bill and I got a magazine and yesterday I paid the mortgage I went to the chase account to see if because I knew my electric bill went through because I got the email saying they got my payment so I wanted to see what other things cleared and I saw that the homeowner's insurance that I mailed on Monday, they got it. It was pending, so yay. <laughs> so I was doing that stuff with the checkbook and then I was doing some figuring on like how much I, sh I could pay on the mortgage because last month I paid a little bit more because I had a little bit more money. <laughs> and I had a little bit more money this time too surprisingly so I paid a little bit more well I paid the same amount as I did last month so I'm never gonna pay that stupid mortgage off <laughs> anyway so I did that 
and mailed that off um, early yesterday morning before the workers got there. And yeah, that's about it. My exciting life. So I'll end it here. I have lots of vlogs to edit and together. So I'm going to end it here and see you guys later. Good morning or afternoon. Today is Sunday, August 13th. And I went out this morning. I went to Target. And I spent enough there. But it was things that I needed, not wanted. So that's kind of good, I guess. <laughs> um, and then I went to Jersey Mike's and got a couple wraps for lunches. One I got for free. I had enough points. So, yeah. And at, in the refrigerator <laughs> from Target, I got blueberries. They were on sale for $1.99. Not the greatest price, but better than $3 and change. I think at one co was like around the same price. Maybe a penny cheaper on sale there. Then I got lunch meat, I got the Good and Gather roast beef, and the Hillshire Farm turkey. These were on sale for $3.99, and this is the only one they had, <laughs> the, the turkey. And um, this was up for the same price, $3.99. This was seven, is seven ounces, and this is nine ounces. So, yeah. More for that, but I mean more meat with that. But it, if it was regular price, I wouldn't have gotten it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then cheese, I got shredded mozzarella. I got provolone. Now that I really don't need it anymore for my Italian beef sandwiches. And I got Munster. Oops. And. and They, I needed more multivitamins. I was getting kind of low. And I was going to get the Ollie brand multivitamins. Because um, I bought a, there was a $3 cashback thing for it. And I had them in my cart. Ollie's. They had two different sizes. They, one fifty, and another one was like 90 count. They were both the same price, which I thought was odd, <laughs> um, but I decided not to get them because I didn't want to spend $18 on multivitamins. So this was a little bit cheaper than, well, way cheaper than $18. This was like $10 and change. So got those. And I thought I'd try Dandelion Root Tea. And then Candelina Crunch and Magic Spoon on the Target Circle. If you have the Target app in the Target Circle, there were they're twenty percent off. So I stocked up. So I got the dark chocolate Candelina Crunch, and they have this and the cinnamon toast. And I'm not crazy about cinnamon toast, <laughs> anything. And then I got Magic Spoon. Um, these are regular nine ninety nine. And 20% off, they were like $7 and change. And these were like $7.26 minus 20% off. I forget <laughs> how much it is with the sale. So I got Coke, peanut butter and cocoa once again. They also had um, cinnamon roll, honey nut, and for seasonal flavor, they got the pumpkin spice. I'm not crazy about pumpkin spice anything, so I did not get that. <laughs> And one of the reasons why I went to Target <laughs> was I needed more dishwashing things. I'm not totally out of them, but you know. So I got those and um, the Target Circle app. There was a coupon for that. In the Abada app, there's a $6 um, cash back with this. And this was like a dollar, not a dollar, $11.99. So, 
And then I got, I definitely needed these. I was getting really low. Even though I have the powder when I was doing the stripping, clothing way back during the pandemic. I needed this as well. And that's all I got at Target. There was a couple t-shirts that I saw in the women's section, but of course they don't have the bigger sizes for people like me, the, you know, the women's plus. So that was kind of a bummer. Not that I need any more t-shirts, but um, after I checked out, I went to Starbucks to get an iced coffee and I was good. I didn't get anything over at the um, food section, you know, ready, already made stuff like the Pizza Hut stuff, though I was really tempted. <laughs> I didn't. But I, I was sitting having my coffee and I was looking at the Target app and I found the two t-shirts that I wanted to get and put, they had them in my size, put them in my cart. I didn't do anything besides that. <laughs> I might get them, I might not get them, well, who knows. And I found a Muppets t-shirt too while I was looking <laughs> but um, on the app, but yeah, everything's still in my cart. So, and then, like I said, I walked across the parking lot to Jersey Mike's. And on the menu board, they raised the price for the sandwiches, my sandwiches, I noticed. But when I paid, it was the regular price that I had been paying. But I don't know if that's for the mini, <laughs> if I got charged for the mini or for a regular. Or, I don't know, but anyway. So that and then I came home and I'll probably stay home. I did take a shower when I woke up this morning and I could probably use another one now that I'm home. It's a little, it's hot, I'm a little humid out there, but I can't wait till cooler weather <laughs> um, so I can turn off the air conditioning for one thing and maybe go out for a walk instead walking around the house. Um, so anyway, that's it for right now. I still have to edit the vlogs from the week. This will probably be a separate one or a different one, but anyway. That's it for right now. See you guys later.